eight years ago, I had Matthew, my best friend, on my channel, and I quizzed him about Lolita fashion. Can you name a Lolita brand? Mackey. <laughs> and you didn't know a whole lot. <laughs> it's, yeah, there's no way around it. It's weird, too, because, like, I'd been friends with you for, I don't know, a while before that, but mm -hmm. still just... I guess in my brain, I was just like, oh, it's a neat thing that Lore does. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing, like, too. Cool. I feel like since then, I still haven't done a lot of Lolita stuff with you. No. It's still, I can't even think of anything after that that I've done with you that was Lolita related. I know that we've gone to some conventions together, that's literally but I it. didn't I didn't wear Lolita there. No, that's right. Yeah, that's literally the only thing we've done as I'm thinking about it, maybe gone to like a tea shop or something, but in that video, Matthew suggested actually that we revisit this later and see if he's learned anything. And my prediction is, I don't think you've learned a gosh dang thing. <laughs> you need to watch your language. <laughs> Did you say gosh it's dang? My channel. <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, what maybe, do you think? maybe like, what's I've your like guess? subconsciously, I, I think that I've subconsciously like acquired a knowledge just from being around you. Okay. Um, okay. This may be a little, little more than last time. I also think that because I have so many other interests, I feel like I get all of my Lolita-ness out through like YouTube and TikTok and also by hanging out with Lolitas. That when it comes time to hang out with you, I want to like talk about Goosebumps yeah. and play other video games. And it's, it's not relevant. It's true. I think our, our friendship is beyond just the like hey what hobbies do you have mm -hmm. you know what i mean like we relay on yeah. horror on haunt things fortnite video games all that kind of nerddom mm -hmm. but it seems like our friendship's at a level where it's just like hey what's going on in your life i think too like i really want to bring you to a lolita meetup i want to bring you to like a gathering but with the last two years nothing's really been happening yeah. And I also fear that, like, when I bring you, that you'll get bored because it's, like, a, another language and, like, stuff. But I also think you might have fun just, like, enjoying all of it and learning about it and talking to people. I love learning. Yeah. So I think part of it would be just, like, absorbing what's going on. And yeah. Because there's so much that I don't know, but I do enjoy subcultures. I mean, and that's you like I'm meeting like, people, too. Yeah. 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 Don't get used to this phenomenal um, recording situation. Please, everyone join my Patreon so that one day I can afford to just hire Matthew full time to do my video production, please, because his setup is way nicer than what I do. You know, I do it for a living. So. Want to like <laughs> plug your work? Yeah. I mean, MatthewLindblad.com is my work. Uh, currently updating it right now to reflect some of the more recent projects I've done, but I've worked with Coca-Cola, Yogurtland, Knott's Berry Farm, tons of major brands. So, um, lovely yeah. lore, lovely lore. <laughs> huge brand, lovely lore. So I did this like a quiz last time. So if you win, <laughs> if you get more answers, I guess, correct than incorrect, you will become an honorary Lolita. What? You'll have oh, the honor yeah. of wearing a head bow. Okay. And if you lose, you get more answers wrong, you will have to be a skeleton, which I think you would enjoy more. Wait, <laughs> how did you decide on skeleton? It's just what I happened to bring with me. Oh, Why did like I bring with this with me from Canada? I don't know. Oh, you brought it all the way from Canada. Yeah. A Canadian skeleton is kind of cool. A Canadian? Canadian. Canadian skeleton. Maybe you'll have to wear this to the concert that we're going to. Oh, that'd be so sick. Have you met any other Lolitas outside of me and, like, my friends? Like, have you just, like, in the world encountered other people that happen to be Lolitas since so, that video? So, that's a great question. The funny thing is, every time I see a Lolita, I'm like, hey, that's what Laura dresses like. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I'm, like, for example, I was at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights during Halloween this season. And I saw someone in Lolita, and I was like, ah, oh, man, like, I want to ask if they know Lovely Lore, my best friend. Heck yeah, plug. And so, yeah, and so it's it's funny because that's where my mind goes to. It's not mm -hmm. like, 
oh, I'm going to go over and like ask him about Lolita. It's like, hey, do you know Lore? Yeah. <laughs> <my> first response. <laughs> so, because um, to me, that's like more fun for me. It's like, oh, yeah. do you know my, you know, my friend I've known for so long. So, um, in terms of like knowing any others, like that I'm personally friends with, not really. No. Interesting. I think you're the only one. Yeah. Wow. How would you explain Lolita fashion to someone who has no idea? what it is and I feel like you now have more experience with this because it's like I make Lolita videos as a living so when people ask what I do like how do you explain this fashion to someone oh um I would say uh starting with poofiness I think is the (laughs) the first thing that comes to mind is like like you know poofy dresses that are um pretty extravagant in their patterns I think patterns are something that goes uh, you know, pretty prominently with Lolita style from what I've kind of um, witnessed. Um, and then usually having some sort of through line, as we call it, like in filmmaking. So some sort of like, uh, like, I guess, theme to the look. So that's kind of what I, um, what I think of as Lolita. And then also like wigs. Wigs are pretty prominent, I think, in the style as well. Maybe. Yes and no. I feel like they were more they were more prominent um, in earlier years and like less and okay. less. They're not really a requirement. Gotcha. I wear them more because I'm lazy, <laughs> so they're just easy to like put on your head. This but, is actually a wig too. But so. like, what if they? What styles influence Lolita? There's two specific periods of history <laughs> that are different. Um. Different times in history, but they are what um, Lolita's style comes from. I'm not periods of history. Oh, you could just name off periods. 1940s. Nope. <laughs> Rococo and Victorian areas, eras of history. Well, Victorian makes sense. I get yeah. that. Um, Rococo sounds like a mix of ricotta and cocoa puffs. You don't know about the Rococo period? I don't. It's about in like the 1770s, like Marie Antoinette. That oh. style of clothing. It's I, a yeah. brief time in history that was really like extravagant, and that's where more sweet Lolita comes from. And then Gothic Lolita is more from Victorian. Wow. The silhouettes and styles of it. I'm just I'm glad to be learning right now because <laughs> I've never heard of Rococo. I'll give you one for that. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Can you name a Lolita brand? Um shoot you mentioned one earlier um blood fo- fox dang no, it that's a goth brand dang fox it. blood you didn't fox even get blood. that name right <laughs> it sounds like a gothic brand um sweet? you could style their pieces with lolita but they're not a lolita specific brand okay gotcha sweet is a sub style well no i was in a sweet biscuit <laughs> is that a brand why did I think of Limp Bizkit? That's, I, that's what my mind went to, too. It's all about the E said she. Sweet Loaf. No. Dang it. I feel like that's probably a look, though, like a Lolita cord. Sweet Loaf? Yeah. Yeah, so there's a Lolita, and her whole brand is around bread. She's called Toast Chan. Oh, so close. It's, it's great. But it. that she's not like a brand. She's just a person. Okay. Um. So she's a personal brand. <laughs> Can you name somewhere to buy Lolita? Yes. (laughs) eBay. (laughs) That's not wrong. I mean, there's a lot of scam pieces on eBay. Are there legit pieces on eBay? There are. I made a whole video around how to figure out (laughs) what's (laughs) good. (laughs) Other places to buy Lolita would be at like uh, Japan LA. No, they Dang don't have it. Lolita. They have Lolita they around? piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they have cool. they have more cute culture, cute stuff that you could put with Lolita, but you couldn't get a main piece there. Shoot. Do you know how Lolitas get their skirts so poofy? Yes. You have the dress, right? Yeah, and then but you then put, put a petticoat a under it. Yes. Wait. Why do they call it petty though? Because we're all so petty. Ooh, the hair toss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay. No, I don't know. Petticoats have existed long before Lolita. Petticoats. I'll have to Google it. Yeah. yeah GTS. Google that shiz. G- That's what you say. Like if Google if someone, that shiz GTS. Yeah. Not Ghost Town not Streets. Not Ghost Town Streets. No. It's actually Google that shiz. I don't cuss, so the actual word is the other word. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. But if someone doesn't know something, GTS. GTS. No. But then what if I they think? What if that's like, like California thing? I wait. I thought you were just. I thought this was just a Matthew thing. I thought you were just making this up. It might be. It's now a thing. <laughs> You're saying it's you a don't California know thing. GTS. All right. In the comments, have you heard GTS before? Are you from California? Google that shiz. You may be entitled to financial compensation <laughs> from I Matthew. Like I would be. <laughs> In addition to um, skull and bow, if you win. You have to carry me in Fortnite. And if you lose, you have to carry me in Fortnite. You have to promise either way that you will continue to carry me in Fortnite. This seems like a trap. (laughs) But I will continue to carry you in Fortnite. Thank you. (laughs) I need it. I'm excited because I think you're going to know this one. I think you really know it. What is cord short for and what does it mean? Cord is short for coordinate. Okay. Because... Mm -hmm. Um, it's like, hey, where are we going today? Send me your cor. Just kidding. You're coordinating your outfit. So if you're going to a con with a friend, for example, you're like, hey, what's the cord that you're picking out today? Or like, what cords do you have to choose from? That's what my best guess is. That's correct. I remembered. You things. remembered because I, you constantly you, asked that you constantly text me to you're like, what are your cords? Just like yeah. you use it as like, what's your ETA? But you know that it I doesn't know. mean that. I'm just being a goofball. <laughs> what do you think this fellow should be named? <clears throat> I wonder if he has a name. I should ask the designer. I think it's Dingus. Dingus. Yeah. Dingus. Uh, I like that. I think that's appropriate. Yeah. Because he kind of looks like a dingus. He's going to haunt you because you don't know enough about Lolita. That's <laughs> terrifying. He's going to appear in your ceiling lights. You need to do like a super zoom of it. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dingus. Dingus is always watching. Yes. All right. I'll give you one for that. I know you know it. For Dingus or for course? <laughs> no, okay. for course. I was like, cool. <laughs> I'm going to show you an image because Lolita dresses have names. Okay. Correct? That's correct. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, this dress is called the puppet maker. That makes so, sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Can you name this dress? Sweet. Dang it. It's um, two words. Um, it's got to be like tasty treats or something. Uh, How does it make you feel when you look at this dress? Uh, like kind of full. Like I had too many sweets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were just eating Girl Scout cookies, but. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I often forget the actual name of this dress because the community has kind of a jokey name for it. Okay. I will accept either if you want to guess. The jokey one has something to do with cupcakes. Cupcake extravaganza. <laughs> That's good. That's better. <laughs> like an adjective and then cupcakes. Okay. Um, spicy cupcakes. That's good. That's good. So the community knows this print as radioactive cupcakes. What? Yes, or atomic cupcakes. But the actual name of this dress is whipped magic. That's, that <laughs> sounds kind of weird. I know. Um, the story behind this dress is that I actually made a full video about it and styling it because okay. it's known as the ugliest Lolita dress. Because it's very neon, and neons aren't usually used in... I feel like I've seen worse. Lolita. Oh, T. <laughs> Put the petty in petticoat, Matthew. <laughs> What's worse? <laughs> oh, now I want to just sit and like get your opinion on all Lolita dresses. Yeah, I mean, That's another I've video. Got, I've got opinions for sure. <laughs> Radioactive cupcake reminds me of like a bad B movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's like... I would watch that movie. Yeah. We would watch the heck like, out of that movie. Exactly. It's like... Attack we should of the make killer that tomatoes, movie. Or there's like a weird d- killer donut movie. Have you heard of this? No. Okay. But well, there's a donut. There's many Lolita donut GTS prints. GTS because so. it's about like donuts that are killing people. Who is Mana? This person. There's kind of a hint in the screenshot because I forgot to crop it. He's in a band. <laughs> Um, yeah Jessica. wait i know this one you do i think you do and he's in a band but he also does something else related to lolita and he wears lolita in the band is he a designer yes okay um i don't i don't recall the band name though i know this one i don't know I, i'll give you that yeah so this is mana okay he's kind of known as like 
this great Lolita like entity. People really look up to him. He's from the band Malice Miser, which is no longer that. together. It's Dang a it. Visual K band. Okay. Um, and What's he w- Visual K? <sighs> we don't have enough time for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you name a Lolita substyle? Oh my goodness. Um Yeah, spicy Italian. Are you ordering a sandwich at Subway? Yeah, and then I'll have some black olives and some sausage. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna humor like this. You, like I'm not even gonna humor this. I was gonna like so... try to Think of a Lolita coordinate around spicy Italian. Is that? And I well, don't it sounds kind of like that sweet whipped. You know, spicy yeah. Spicy Italian. Whipped sweet, magic. Or whipped, yeah. Did, when I said sub, did your brain associate like sandwiches? Yes, and then you... immediately. I was like, man, I'm hungry. <laughs> a Lolita sub style would be like gothic. Uh, gothic. <clears throat> yes, that's what I said. Can you name another one? Um, Pretty neat do you know what sub style i generally wear i'm not wearing it today oh um but the style that i usually wear it's very pastel-y is it pastel no dang it <laughs> sweet <laughs> is a sub style what does it start with s sweet yeah knew it do you, can you name another one there's three main sub styles sweet gothic and one more um now I'm just thinking of Subway sandwiches again. Dang it. <laughs> it's a th- it's a type of music. Ska. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, don't tell would be me. G- I want to get. It. Oh, Lolita sorry. would be great for dancing to ska for like skanking because Yay, your legs your are like all are free. free and open. Yeah. So this is the last question. What what's my points? Or what are my points at? That cancels out that. That cancels out that. That cancels out that. That cancels out. You're at zero points. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so if I get this one. This is a make or break. Oh, my goodness. This I'm is so a make nervous. or break. So I'm going to name. Gonna give you three print names. Oh, goodness. Okay. One of them is real. The other two are fake. Okay. So the first one is Melty Pony Cafe. <laughs> Fantasy poodle bear or cherish my juicy cherry <laughs> i feel like fantasy poodle bear is real you feel like that's real yeah is that your final answer i hope cherish my juicy cherry is not real <laughs> that's, no <laughs> <laughs> that's so wildly inappropriate i feel like yeah it's kind of a mis translation there isn't really a proper way to translate it from japanese so that was their there's a lot of funny names in lolita because their translations are weird yeah that's it's not like (laughs) (laughs) all right you lost (laughs) but really you did i I feel like i won yeah like i can't be mean (laughs) because i get to wear this school yeah and hang out with you Oh, I feel like my reaction was delayed because in my head I was thinking about this is actually for like children. <laughs> so on me, it's kind of small. So on you, it's going to be real interesting. You look really cool. <laughs> the bow on. Ew, I can see your beard hairs through it. <laughs> what would this dress be called? The skull with Lolita bows on it. I feel like it would have nothing to do with... uh what's on it like whipped mm. magic doesn't really have anything to do with it so it would be like uh the highway of dreams <laughs> Ooh, okay okay no i'd be called face skull bowie brain you know face skull bowie brain yeah i would love to see someone brain. draw this print yeah it's a challenge to all of if you. someone draws it i will wear it oh my gosh please someone make this dress <laughs> i mean i feel like how much worse can it get look at me Look at me! (laughs) I'm awful! It's not very Ew, it is wet! Ew! You? Ew! You knew this. Ew. Anyways, back to business. (laughs) Where have you been the past eight years? Not learning about Lolita, I see.